Families have a new role to provide emotional support. For mother and baby, nothing in the world is more important or brings greater joy. Baby chimpanzees spend years learning about each other and their traditions. Families are the schools. In Central Africa, chimps crack nuts with rocks. The trick is passed mother to baby down the generations. It's part of their culture. In East Africa, they catch termites using twigs. Babies watch and learn. They get the basics almost immediately. It's something to do with a stick. In some extraordinary footage, the mother tries to help and is pushed away by the youngster. With endless patience, she tries again. No, not that huge thing. Here, yeah, this one is better. Only humans are supposed actively to teach, but textbooks can be rewritten if necessary. Young chimps get enormous pleasure from termite fishing. A hunger to learn and satisfaction with success is also part of our biology. It must drive a lot of what we do. Most primates are born into troops, extended families, but not all. A two kilogram newborn orangutan brings us back to the start. Fathers and cousins are around, but not particularly helpful. It'll be seven or eight years before the next one. His mother's one of the world's slowest breeders. His long childhood gives him time to work things out. His mother will help map out where to find food and slowly he'll become aware of his world and himself. It's not just primates. It seems likely all mammals, and maybe birds too, feel emotions and make thoughtful choices, particularly around babies. Increasingly, orangutans face disaster. Infants that lose their mothers may be lucky enough to be rescued. Human step-parents do their best with an orphan. They both try to replace a bond that is lost. 